Hello everyone, um, viewers of the Amber Army YouTube channel, this is Taff and this is an episode of Taff's Word and it's going to be about uh, my beloved Newport County, or for those of you watching, um, obviously mainly county fans, our beloved Newport County. Um, right, we just took a humping last night off of Plymouth 4-1. Um, disappointing because we obviously had the lead at half time, we were winning 1-0 and I didn't go so I can't say whether we played good or bad but from what I've heard it was good in the first half but absolutely appalling obviously in the second half uh, it's it's really difficult what you know it's really hard to contemplate how to view this team at the moment because every position looks stronger than last year every you know the whole team looks better you know the individual players are better than the individual players that we had but as a unit, as a team, it, you know, we're still waiting for them to um, to really make a real mark for us. You know, I mean, uh, you know, we, we shouldn't even be thinking about relegation at the moment because we are stronger. But everyone else around us is stronger than last year as well. You know, we're gonna we're not gonna have a Dagenham and a York to, to, to rely on being worse than us. So in that respect, it, it's 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 a bit worrying. But to be honest with you. Um, I know Feeney um, isn't getting all the plaudits at the moment um, and obviously he hasn't really done an awful lot to deserve them right now but um, it's something that tells me that he's going to be a real success for us. I mean you, you just got to look at you know managers out there, they all have to start somewhere, they all have to learn their trades somewhere and yeah I know people might say oh yeah but we need an experienced person let him learn it somewhere else but what if he learns it somewhere else and turns them in, in, into a dynasty or something you know what if he ends up you know being the new Eddie Howe taking, taking some other club you know right up through the leagues you know I mean say he's, he's just starting out in management we're his first club for me he's proved that he's capable of winning football matches as a manager you know, he won some very important ones. I mean, it was his wins, in my opinion, what kept us up last year. You know, the three home wins in a row, winning 1-0 at York, beating Portsmouth 3-0. They were the wins that kept us up, you know. Obviously, like I've said this many a time, John Sheridan steadied the ship, but Warren Feeney led us to safety, you know. And I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, his record wasn't great and everything. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. He had a bunch of knobheads who didn't want to play for him at the end of last season. Fuck them. You know, they're gone now. You know, we got a team of players who want to play for us. So you can see it in them. You can see the, the extra fight in them. And they're just finding their feet together as a team right now. Like I say, I'm worried because there's strong teams around us. Every team in League 2 is stronger than what they were last year. Um, we are. But where does it leave us? That's the only worry that I've got. Is that, you know, we're not going to have anyone that's going to be, you know, we're not going to have many teams that are going to be worse than us over the course of the season. But I think two home games in a row, if we win them both, and the, you know, we we draw a bit of confidence out of them, then I can see us pushing on. I can see us really making. A better mark and these loan signings i mean we've made two so far but this is transfer deadline day um we've made two loan signings where the third one expected to be completed before the the uh the 11 o'clock deadline so i'm hoping that that third one they're, they're rumoring that it's going to be reese healy i do hope it's actually going to be a midfield player because you know just basically strengthening each section of the pitch you know one defender one midfielder one striker there we go then you know nice bulky squad um, right up till January, you know, between between all them, they can win us enough points to uh, to get us, you know, clear. And cause that's the thing. I don't want to be in a relegation battle again. I want to actually be out of it. I don't want to be looking over our shoulders. I want us to just be comfortably sitting, whether even if we're in seventeenth, eighteenth all season, as long as we're not considered relegation candidates, you know. For, for for a long period of, of of the season, I'll be happy with that. But um, no, in my opinion, things are looking like they're going to start going in the right direction sooner rather than later. Off the pitch, I hope that's going to be the same as well. It does look like it. Um, obviously, the trust have uh, started working on things with fan engagement. Neil Collier is kicking that on. 
um, it's looking like there's going to be a lot of positive things coming from that. Um, apparently the small council are sponsoring the next match and uh, word has it that uh, they're dipping into their own pockets for that so uh, it's great it's absolutely great you know people are coming together more that everyone's supporting the club as they should be and i can only see good times ahead to be honest with you so like i say I, i'm at a point where i don't feel worried about any about anything at the moment except maybe that you know even though we're better than we were last year the fact that everyone else around us is better is going to be what brings us down. But like I say, I still got I still got faith in Feeney. Um, I think he is going to be the right man for us. And there was plenty of positives to take out of the games that we played so far, except maybe the Plymouth one. But I say so I can't say anything because I didn't see it. But we'll see when we we really will see. So we can only hope. But uh, yeah, um, just a quick snappy one really. Um, John Parkin's goal, boom, what an absolute worldie. And I tell you what, if he scores a few of them this season, yeah, I'm, I, I'm just going to say I'm happy with that. I'm happy to see things like that. I mean, we get so many belters scored against us. It's actually nice for us to score a belter against someone else. So uh, thank you, John Parkin. That was a really good moment for me personally. So, yeah, great. Anyway, guys, um, so I'm so, with the county concern, I'm sort of running out of ideas, if I'm being honest, um, you know, with things to talk about. Um, I'd, I'd I'd rather if you guys tell me what you want me to talk about, you know, just to say, oh, you know, talk about the board, talk about Watsy, talk about Flinny, talk about, you know, the coaching staff, talk about the academy. You know, I mean, I'm happy to just come in and just talk about them, but then if I know people want to hear about something, then that'll prompt me to talk about it. So, uh, you know, get on my case. You know, if you disagree with anything, tell me, and then I'll I'll film a reply to that. Um, and I'm happy to engage with anybody, you know, debate or even jump on the bandwagon with something. I don't mind. But um, yeah, yeah, I want, I want to do a few more of these. I want to start recording these on a bit more of a regular basis. But I want to have regular things to talk about that I know people want me to talk about, basically. So yeah, anyway, that'll be all for this one. I'll start rabbiting on. Cheers for watching again, guys. And up the candy.